Welcome back guys. In the previous video we have seen how we have created a Blazor server app and turns it and turned it into a desktop app that works currently on Windows and you can publish that app for Mac OS and Linux. In this video, you will see how we can debug this application. Because we are using Blazor server and as we know Blazor server we have the full debugging capabilities uh, either whether you are in the Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio uh, the full IDE, you have a full control for debugging, not like WebAssembly. So, we will see in this video how we can debug our Elkitronaz application. But before we do this, I have just a small uh, note for this. If you are debugging uh, things that are related to the desktop app, then you should follow what I'm doing. But if you are just trying to debug some logic within your application, at the end it's a Blazor server app, so you can just run the application and in the web mode, not in the Blazor server, not in the uh, Elkitronize environment, then you can debug it nor normally. But uh, uh, we have, I have to mention something before we proceed also. Uh, what if I make, want to make our application works on the desktop and at the web as well? Here we have something to, to talk about, which is the hybrid support. Hybrid support, we can make is Elkitron active. So whenever you are using Elkitron, just use hybrid support that is Elkitron active to indicate that, hey, right now I'm working in the Elkitron environment. So you are in the desktop mode. But if you add it, then you can also make this application work the same on the web. But whenever you use Elkitron, put it inside this F condition. So it will be only for the desktop app. Right now we want to concentrate on debugging the desktop application. So I will go to the pages and we have the counter page. You know it, it's a the very famous counter page by Microsoft. I will set a breakpoint here on the method increment count. Then I will go back to our PowerShell and call Elkitronize start right now I have I will have the desktop application works okay very good as you can see right now it just works very quickly okay great right now this is my application I'll go to the counter and click and as you can see, nothing will happen. So to debug this application, I have to attach it, the process of this app to the Visual Studio code. So go for the debugging section here and click. By default, it's .NET Core Launch Web and choose .NET Core Attach. Click here, then click on Start Debugging. Perfect. Right now, it will ask you to choose a process you want to debug. My process is called Blazor Desktop Demo, so I will search for it, Blazor Desktop Demo.exe. Here it is, I will click on it. And right now I have my application attached to Visual Studio Code, and this also can be done within the Visual Studio Full IDE the same way. So I can debug my application. Let's see if I click right now this button. And here we go. I have the full debugging capabilities, there are my local variables, I can go steps like this one, set as many breakpoints as you want, and enjoy the debugging experience. It was pretty easy and uh, very normal, like nothing uh, magical with it, but yeah, we have to mention that you have to attach it in this way, that's it. So this is about debugging our Elkitron application. Right now in the next video we will move to start dealing with the native APIs of the operating system and we will start by notifications. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.